Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm reviewing this. It is the M&M's ice cream cookies. Basically, it's an ice cream cookie sandwich made with cookies with M&M's inside. My daughter picked this out at the grocery store today. And uh, this was about $3.50 for this box of six. Not too bad for um, a per unit cost. What do we got going on here? M&M ice cream cookie. Wow, look at this. This is a decent sized ice cream cookie, guys. One that you would uh, come to expect. I would say one, two, a little bit over two inches in diameter, a little bit over an inch and a quarter in thickness. We got some vanilla ice cream in the middle, and we got some actually surprisingly moist and soft cookie on the outside. Normally, some of these things are like hard and chewy. This one, like I'm, I'm holding it with my hand, and my fingers can push in the cookie. That's kind of cool. Let's see how it tastes. Mm, mm hmm. Mm hmm. These are not normal size M and M's, guys. These are mini size M and M's. So keep that in mind. Super soft, moist cookie. Here's a problem when you don't have moist cookies. You bite into it, and then it pushes down, and then on the back side, the cookie pops up. And you don't have the, it squirts ice cream out the side. Because this is so soft and moist, when I bit into it, look, it goes all the way through. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bit all the way through. That's decent. The cookie has a good saltiness to the cookie batter. All us real good cookie eaters know that the amount of salt that's added to the cookie makes the cookie. I know it sounds counterintuitive, but really salt is what makes it. This is like a chocolate chip cookie batter. The right amount of saltiness and a good chocolatey chocolatiness of the M&M. I really like the cookie on the outside. But the ice cream in the middle, not really anything to write home about, guys. In fact, um, it's got a consistency that is almost like um, it's not full ice cream. It's not like, it's almost like soft serve um, consistency, um, almost like a, uh, like a picture of meringue or some sort of like, um, like icing cream that is a little thicker than regular cream, but not as thick as ice cream. Does that make sense? It's kind of a cheap vanilla ice cream on the inside. That being said, I don't mind it too much because the cookie is so amazing. This is not one of those situations where you're like, I'm buying the m and cookie, ice cream cookie because of the ice cream. This is one of those situations where you're like, I'm buying this because it has pretty awesome cookies and a nice cold burst of something fresh on the inside so don't buy this if you like ice cream buy this because you like a cold ice cream like cookie sandwich and you love you some m m's this is the m m ice cream cookies although i might add because it's so chewy and soft i hate to see what type of crazy preservatives are in that cookie that's typically what happens with that that being said overall experience three and a half out of five star rating Question of the day. Sorry, I just got to get all this good stuff off. I mentioned about the soft cookie. How do you like cookies? It doesn't have to be ice cream cookies, but do you like crispy, thin cookies, like a little brown on the bottom, or do you like nice and soft and chewy cookies? Leave that in the comments section. Remember soft batch cookies? Those things were like crazy soft, but they had this like artificial taste to it. Um, so you were kind of like, well, maybe it shouldn't be that soft. However, if you're making homemade cookies, it's super nice when it's nice and warm and soft. So anyway, leave that in the comment section. How, geez, I can't talk today. Leave that in the comment section, how you like cookies. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and I will see you next time.